Welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. I like I always appreciate swinging by and watching the beer review. Uh, tonight's episode, we're taking a look at one out of Christian Moorline uh, Brewing Company out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. This here is their... Let's see if we get a little bit of that light reflection on there. Cause I, I actually like all the things going on in this can. Uh, this one here is coming in at 6.2% uh, alcohol by volume and uh, 65 IBU. This is their Big Hazy IPA. And it's got some reading here on the back. I'll get to that in a second. As far as the artwork on this, it's four out of five. I like the hops here. I like the bright colors. I like the purple. Everything about this is very, uh, very inviting um, uh, can art. So uh, I'll give it a four out of five. As far as the reading on this goes, uh, see, it says uh, experimenting with the with the doors of perception. Christian Moorline Brewing Company presents big hazy. <laughs> Kick back, let your hair down, and enjoy. Uh, there is no turning back now. This mind-expanding IPA has an orange haze from an addition of apricot to the kettle, a cosmic blend of Pacific Northwest hops, uh, infuses uh, passion and mango fruit aromas. Uh, raise a cold one of the good. Uh, raise a cold one to the good times, even if they're a bit hazy. Keep on trucking. All right, so this here light here, my LED light is flickering, so I'm gonna, it's driving me nuts. I'm gonna lay that down there real quick. Uh, so again, four out of five on the artwork, 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume, and uh, big hazy uh, IPA. Um, so it says a blend of Pacific Northwest hops. Uh, I don't really know what hops they're using. I don't know what, uh, what, um, what malt base they're using in here so uh i've heard decent things about this um i was at a build your own six pack where i picked this up i picked up uh um some more of the uh supermarket build your own six pack um local ipa or local uh um in-state ohio beers a couple of ipas a couple of sours um i actually picked up a couple of loggers too in there so we'll go ahead and get a pour on this thing and uh, see what it's all about so let's look here clear yellow light orange to yellow color in this uh, producing a white head up on top of this uh, a bit of almost almost a little bit of an orange juice look to this here uh, very hazy as the name would uh, indicate not a lot of carbonation going on here on the side of the glass but i do have a few larger uh, fisheye bubbles popping up in the top here very foamy head in here about two fingers were produced on this thing maybe slightly over uh, two fingers there uh, it is popping like it's probably going to wear out rather quickly oh wow the tangerine the orange Maybe a slight pininess. Uh, a bit of a sweetness, almost, um, and I say this a lot, um, almost a candied artificial flavor coming off of this. But the orange, the tangerine, um, some uh, citrusy grapefruit in there, maybe, um, maybe not so much grapefruit, maybe a mildness, mild grapefruit. There's a lot of tangerine in here, a lot of orange in here. I do kind of pick up a little bit of apricot in there. Um, outside of that, there's just a lot of fruitiness really um, coming off of this aroma here. You could probably sit here and pick up about four, five, six different fruits if you were really uh, reaching for something out there. So, But it definitely got that um, fruit aroma, that fruity aroma coming off of it. The pininess is extremely mild. So let's go ahead and get a drink on this and uh, see what it's all about. A bit more piney um, than I was anticipating. Um, on thinner side of medium body, I actually thought it would be a little uh, a little thicker body, a little uh, more of a, a fuller body, but um, a little thinner than I was anticipating as well. A 
The Tangerine is there. It's not very acidic at all. Orangish tangerine, almost a, like a lemon rind um, type of, of uh, flavor I'm picking up in this. Mild dryness to this. It does finish kind of dry. Overall, not bad, not hateful, not awesome. Uh, as far as scoring this here, it does say New England style IPA, and it doesn't come across to me as, as a New England style um, IPA. As far as scoring this, I'm good with about a 3.75 uh, out of 5. Um, yeah, I'd probably drink this again. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to pick this up. Um, and it's probably about on par with the reviews, uh, the other reviews that I've been... Um, that I've read about this, so 3.75 out of 5, definitely solid, definitely worth drinking, 6.2% uh, alcohol, um, I get no, no hints of the alcohol at all in this, um, honestly zero really, um, yeah, so uh, you could probably drink a few of these and depending on if, whether you can hold your alcohol or not, um, this is one, it might come back and bite somebody like that at anything over 6% uh, alcohol. But um, to me, uh, I don't really pick up anything, any alcohol in this at all. Uh, it's very, very thin, much thinner than I thought. Medium, you know, thinner side, medium bodied. So uh, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on uh, social media. You've had this before. Let me know what your thoughts are on it.